<laughs> Yo, so today we're gonna be going over how to maximize your webcam settings in OBS for Mac. It'll probably work on Windows too, but you know the deal. Let's get ba 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 -rudal. What's up everybody, it's your boy, the Fortitron. And the other day when I uploaded this video on the Avery Media live streamer cam 313, I've been getting a lot of comments from people saying, hey, I have a webcam similar to that or one that's even worse than that one. How do I make that footage look better? So that gave me the idea to make this video. So we're gonna be taking two webcams, so the live streamer 313, and this guy, the Logitech C270, which are both low budget webcams, and we're gonna see if we can make them look amazing in OBS. All right, let's not say amazing, but let's say pretty good. Pretty, really good. So if you like content like this, don't hesitate to like and comment on this video, and maybe think about subbing if you haven't already, so I can make more how-to videos. Put some ideas in the comments, things that you wanna see. All right, let's get into this. All right. So before we get started, as is tradition, I wanna set a disclaimer first. To do this tutorial, you should have a newer Mac, maybe a more powerful Mac. I don't really recommend doing this on like one of the laptops or any of the MacBook Pros or the MacBook Airs because the more effects and settings that you add in OBS, that's the more processing that your CPU has to do in the moment in real time while you're streaming. If you're just recording video, probably fine, but if you're streaming live, then you want a pretty beefed up Mac to do this. Um, so I would do it your own caution. You could try some of these out, and if you find that it's just maxing out your CPU too much, then I would probably not do this. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing all this in OBS, so I'm gonna switch to my OBS screen recording. Next. We're here, we're in my room. This is where I record all my YouTube footage, and it's not very flattering behind me, that's fine, okay. So this is what most people's webcams look like. Very blown out on the highlights. I do have a light right above me, but yeah, like it, like a lot of webcams can't handle like a lot of data. So a lot of light information and color information. This is what a lot of people's webcams look like. So how do we make this look a little bit better? So first off, we're gonna make it a bit smaller because you don't want your cam taken up too much space of your stream. A lot of people, I like to have it in the top right hand corner. I would say it's specific to the game that you're playing. Uh, depends on like where like your HUD is or different like elements that usually display up on your screen. I would just move your, your webcam appropriately. I see this kind of rookie mistake that a lot of people make, which is they keep the whole like field of view of the webcam. Don't do that, don't do that. Like why do you need all this extra crap behind you and like to your side and stuff? Nobody needs to see that. So what you would do instantly is just, you can hold down the option key on your Mac and then you can move this slider and do that for each side and kind of make this a little bit more square. There you go, perfect. And then that way it's just you. You don't have the extra amount of stuff behind you. I would just kind of minimize the amount of clutter that's behind you as much as possible. And don't have like five feet above your head. Like if you watch TV shows or movies and when they do like a close up of a character, they don't have a lot of room filming above their head. It's usually tight within the shot. You don't have that much room. So I would crop your window to be the same. Let's look at some of these effects. So let's make this bigger so we can see the image a little bit more. And OBS has this feature where you can just right click on an element and we're gonna go to filters. And then we get this window up here. So we have effect filters. So we're gonna hit the plus sign and then I would choose, let's do color correction. So I'm gonna call this Live Streamer Cam 313. All right, let's hit okay. And then we get all these dials here, very exciting. So let's try to make it so it's not so damn harsh on my face with the brightness here. So let's back that off a little bit. Maybe let's take the saturation down a little. Let's see if we mess with the contrast, if that makes it, no. See, okay, it's not, a, it's not a magic wand, but it will make things a little bit better. Gamma. 
You see it affecting the background a lot more. Hue shift, we're not gonna touch that. Opacity, yeah, like that's kind of it. Like we can touch it down a little bit. I would play around with your lighting as well. So I have another headlight that I could turn on. I don't find that that helps. If I turn, let's turn this. If I turn that light off, the big bright light on me, and then turn this backlight on, awful. You always kind of want some kind of light on your face. I do have another light that's on over there. Play around with your lighting. So the lighting is key. So lighting will massively improve or make worse the image that you have. So I'm gonna put this back on and the camera's got to adjust and then it's back to being full on blown out. So maybe it's the light that I have. Maybe that needs to be adjusted or maybe I need to just turn that off. Uh, Cause the image did kind of look better when I had it off, when it adjusts, yeah, like it's just not so bad. So maybe let's turn up the brightness. All right, all right. I dig it, I dig it. Okay, cool. So again, I bet you like those little sliders didn't really do that much. Playing with your lighting is gonna be massive. And then you'll find the look that you like for the kind of lights that you have. Move them around, do stuff like make, Try to do whatever you can to improve your image as much as you possibly can. Because you gotta remember, like a lot of people are watching this stuff on their phones or their tablets, so the quality of your, your cam footage is not gonna be like super essential. Another thing that I got asked was, you know how I've got this in a box format here? Somebody asked me, how do I make a circle in OBS? Like how do I make my webcam image a circle? That's also really easy to do. So same area, we're gonna right click, we're gonna go to filters, and instead of color correction, we're gonna choose image mask blend. Let's we'll call this circle, hit okay. And you have to have an image that has a white circle on it. So I'll link that in the description down below. Super easy to make in Photoshop. All I did was take a 720p canvas, and then I just made a circle right in the middle of it, and it was a white circle. So what it's doing is anything that's in white is gonna be masked out. So if I just choose that file, boom, there we go. So now we got ourselves a little circle. And you'll see because of those uh, little crops I did earlier. So again, if we just hold option, and we can crop in, there we go. Now we got a little circle here. Make that as big as you want. And let's adjust the camera. There, so I'm more centered in frame. There you go, cool. I think actually changing your webcam to a circle rather than a square or a rectangle will instantly make you stand out more than other streamers because a lot of people just have a rectangle. So I know it's kind of, it's a look, it's a preferred look, but I definitely could dig like just having a circle webcam footage here, especially if you don't have like a very decorated background, uh, kind of like mine, like I just, it's my bedroom. So it's a blank wall, so who cares? Like just kind of have the footage on your face and then that way people aren't focusing on all the crap you got in your room. I don't know, like definitely, if I could say anything, is definitely crop out the sides if you do keep it rectangle. Like just focus on the stuff that people wanna see. Like nobody wants to see what's on your kitchen counter, or what's on your bedroom table, any of that stuff. So just try to crop out as much as you can. Keep the allure if you, if you want. And like I said, the file is linked in the description below. And then if you wanna make it more fancy, what you could do is with your webcam is I would put, an overlay or maybe like a background image. So I would just get another circle image and then you put this behind your webcam. So you would just add, and then you would just add here uh, an image and then just have a, an image that you've edited already, like a, just a, a perfect circle and then make it black or something and then just change the opacity to like 80%. And then that way you'll have like a cool little drop shadow for your little circle webcam here. Uh, which is easily done. Um, you know what, let me just do that real quick. So again, like I mentioned before, we're just hit the plus sign and we're gonna choose image 
and we're gonna call it shadow. And then you gotta navigate to it, so I just saved it to the desktop, and then circle map, no, shadow right here, boom. And you want this layer to be below your webcam. And then like I mentioned before, we're gonna just adjust the size of it. So let's crop out those sides that we don't need. So again, we hold Alt or Option. Okay. So we are gonna change the alpha of this image. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a filter, hit the plus sign, and we're gonna choose the color correction one again. Let's call it alpha. And then right here, opacity. There you go. Now you got a little drop shadow on your image. Boom. Cool. I don't know. Like, I think this looks pretty cool. I'm going to hand it back over to DSLR James. Let's go. All right. So there you go. Now you just really upped your webcam footage as much as you possibly can. Like I said, this isn't a magic wand, but it will make your footage look that much better. The best thing to do, play with your lighting and you'll get to an image that you're happy with. But yeah, if you thought this video was cool, check out some of these other tutorials that I have. I got a whole list for how to stream on a Mac. Uh, definitely check those out. That's gonna be it for me. Tell me what you thought in the comments down below, but I'm gonna head out of here. Just do me one last favor. Have yourself a great day. Cheers, everybody.